Hello and welcome back. In this video we are going to discuss the differences between posts and pages. WordPress is driven by two main content types, posts and pages. Before we start creating content, it's important to understand the differences between these two content types so we can choose the most appropriate type when building our website. One of the most commonly asked questions is, is WordPress just for blogging or can I also build websites with it? The answer is, you can do both. Most websites are built with a combination of both posts and pages, but if you really wanted, you can build websites driven with just posts or just pages. Generally speaking, if you are building a news slash magazine based website or a personal blog, your main content type will be posts. If you are building a website for a company slash restaurant, sports team, or if you are building a website to advertise a service, your website will mainly be driven by pages. Let's go a little bit deeper. Posts are entries on your website that are listed in reverse chronological order. Posts are time sensitive and are organized by categories, tags, dates, and authors. Posts can be accessed from multiple places within your website, the archives, categories and tags, recent post widget, just to name a few. Posts are also displayed in the RSS feed of your website, and it's also worth mentioning you cannot set a blog post as your homepage. Pages are static and timeless, therefore are not sorted by date. Pages are not organized by categories or tags, but rather a hierarchy system. A page is only accessible from wherever you link to it, meaning you have to manually add the page as a menu item or link to it from somewhere within your site. Pages will not go into the RSS feed and can be set as your home page. So, if you have an About Us section, which content type should you choose? The nature of an About Us section is timeless and doesn't expire. Details may change from time to time, but it should be few and far between. We don't need to categorize the page and we certainly don't want to chronologically list the About Us section because it'll get bumped down by newer entries and eventually disappear into the abyss. You also want the page to be very visible on your website by inserting a link to it on your navigation menu. Based on the above reasoning, the content type you should be using for an About Us section is a page. If you want to write about a major current event, say, humans have landed on the sun, would you use a post or a page? Because you're writing about a current event, it counts as news, therefore it's time sensitive. Two weeks from the time of writing, humans landing on the sun won't be breaking news anymore, so it's okay if the post gets bumped down by newer entries. We want to categorize and add tags to the post, for example, we'll file it under the category Science, then tag it with Astronomy, so in the future when anyone clicks on the Science category, this entry will show up. Based on the above reasoning, the content type you should be using for this is a post. Here is a summary of the differences between posts and pages. And here are some typical uses for posts and pages. Now that you understand the differences between posts and pages, let's talk about the post interface. 